Welcome back. So welcome back. So today we are going to continue the tradition of trying random different cereals and muffins. So we, today we are going to try Honey Bunches of Oats, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Captain Crunch in muffins. With a little twist, we're gonna change up the recipe from the Raisin Bran recipe, just to mix it up a little bit. But however, before we get started, here's a little joke for you. What did the baker get his wife for Valentine's Day? Flowers. Ha ha ha. All right, all right. Terrible, terrible. So, without further ado, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. To start these muffins, we're going to take half a cup of Cap'n Crunch with berries. You have to get the ones with berries, obviously. And we're going to blend these up. The reason that we want to blend these up is because the cereal won't get as soggy as the raisin bran. So by chopping it up, we'll eliminate having to wait so long. You see that? I see it. Also make sure not to turn all of the cereal into a fine powder because having some pieces is ideal for looks later. I'm going to taste one. You going to taste one? Yeah, I'm going to taste pink. Then we're going to pour one third a cup of heavy whipping cream into the bowl to soften the rest of the cereal up. Okay, that's good. Mmm, it's really powerful. Before we use buttermilk, however, by switching to whipping cream, I believe that it gives it a richer flavor profile and removes a little bit of the tang you get from the buttermilk. I mean, if you want the tang, then keep the using the buttermilk. Then we're just going to stir the mixture up a little bit to ensure that everyone is coated nicely. Do, Do this one? Yeah, put it in there. Then we're going to just repeat the process with the Cinnamon Toast Crunch using half a cup of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the taste you can see, and one third a cup of heavy whipping cream. However, for the Honey Bunches of Oats, since they already get soggy super fast, we're just going to pour the one third a cup of heavy whipping cream into the bowl of half a cup of Honey Bunches of Oats without chopping the cereal up. Taste the milk. Yum. Next, we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients into the bowl. So in the bowl, we already have one cup of flour and we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Then we're just going to give this some whiskey business and make sure everything is nice and combined. Then as a separate bowl, we're going to add one egg and four tablespoons of softened butter. Then we're going to mix that all up until the mixture is nice and smooth. Then we're going to add five tablespoons of cream cheese that is at room temperature and then we're going to mix that up until it's nice and smooth. Once we get that nice and smooth, we're going to add three-fourths a cup of brown sugar and you guessed it, we're going to mix that up until it's nice and smooth. Looking back, probably could have just added this all into the bowl and mixed it up once, but you know, just want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Next, we're going to add our dry ingredients from earlier and mix that into the wet ingredients until everything is nice and smooth. Then we're going to take our cereal bowls with the soggy cereal and divide this mixture into three equal parts into the three different bowls. Why are you going to eat all the marshmallows? Um, I'm not eating all of them. This is a little bit. Before we mix everything up in the cinnamon toast crunch bowl, we're going to add one half a cup of marshmallows and then mix that up. In the Honey Bunches of Oats bowl, we are going to add one half a cup of macadamia nuts. Sprinkle them in. And then mix that up. I'm going to take the cherry. Uh, it's cranberry. You want one? Yeah. I'm going to take two. Two? Yeah. If you keep eating them all, we're not going to have anything for the muffins. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's okay? Yeah. And then in the Captain Crunch bowl, we are going to add one half a cup of dried cranberries and mix that up. Once everyone is nice and mixed up in their separate bowls, we're going to spray our muffin pan with some cooking spray just to prevent sticking and then plop our muffin mixture into the pan. Each one of these cereals is going to make about three medium muffins. I'm a dish. <laughs> <laughs> Once everyone is in the muffin pan and ready to go, we're going to throw these guys into the oven at 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the toothpick comes out nice and clean. It. Yeah, so there we have it. So there we have our muffins. Uh, we have our macadamia nut and honey bunches of oats, our cranberries and Compton Crunch, and marshmallows and cinnamon toast. So the marshmallows did kind of deflate the cinnamon toast muffins, but yeah, let's give it a try. You ready? Ready. Mmm. They're good? 
Yeah. So that one is actually really good. Has a nice cinnamon sugar taste from the cinnamon toast. Um, you don't really taste the marshmallows, but it is nice, light, and fluffy. Uh, a really good muffin. All right, you ready to try the Captain Crunch? Mm. That one good? Yeah. I, I think it's absolutely delicious. Um, oh. I think it's absolutely delicious. It tastes like Captain Crunch with a little bit of cranberries in the background. It's really good. Captain Crunch is up there with the Fruit Loops, uh, one of my favorite cereals. Uh, used to eat it as a kid all the time. So, you ready to try the last one? Yeah. Honey Bunches, Vokes, and Macadamia Nuts. How is it? Good. good so that one is good um, you don't really get the honey bunches of oats much because I mean I guess there's not really a whole lot of flavor there that would actually come through in the muffin but you do get a lot of macadamia nuts so it's more like a macadamia nut muffin which is actually pretty good so with that being said if you like this video hit that like button down below if you want to see more like it hit the subscribe button notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a new video until next time we'll see you later